30 players left. 30 players left. And a nice free roll. Oh, the satellite. Another 30. Five hundred thousand three one. That's scary. What is the next time they have an, the, they have another satellite, right? Next week. Next week. Next week. Next Tuesday. It's the same day. This is Thursday. Next Tuesday. Thursday. I mean next Thursday. Huh? Well, hopefully everybody at this table makes it. We only have a few more players to go. Thirteen thousand five hundred showing nine thousand five hundred. We got a showdown. Ace four, ace eight. Nice. Ace four, ace, ace eight. Whoa. Oh, and he hit the straight. Wow, nice. Catch wow. the river and he hit that first straight. Oh, shit, wow. Wow. So, second call for that new two five on single 15. Two more, two more players. And we made it. Two more players and we made it. Please report Made it to the 500,000 tournament. Michael M, David L, Joe, Josh D, DJC, Louis, Jeffrey L, Locke, JJM, and Albert O for 1-2. Oh, they got two all in? I mean, are they doing just two all in? Yeah, he's standing up. I think he's all in. He's all in. 27. Wait, that's cash game. 27. 27. Two seven. You said stop, right? Yeah, yeah. No more hands. No more hands. And they got it. They got a hand in play. No more hands. No more hands. No more hands. Stop. No more hands. You made it? I hope so, man. I hope so too. <laughs> I hope so too. Do we make it? Do we make it, baby? Do we make it? I'm going to play hands for hands, though. After they're done with the hand, I'm going to pause the clock. I'm going to reassess. I believe we're at uh, 27 to 26, so we'll have to combine and play for hand for hand. But we'll play for one or two more hands. Okay. So they're going to combine the tables. They're going to combine the tables. We're going to go to three, three tables. Go, baby. Go. Make sure this is like one, two, three, four, five, six. This is big. 13, 13, that's my number. 13. All right, Let's see what happens here. Second call is Shannon yeah. for BLL. William H. for Congress. Mm -hmm. We'll be tuning in and we'll see what happens from here. Oh, wow. Great. I'm doing that to keep you alive. What's the way? I didn't have shit. Oh, nice, man. Oh, wow. I should have called it. Wow, I should have called it. I had A7. Well, I'm trying to keep him alive. Oh. Damn. I didn't plan on you betting. Oh, wow. Six. Oh, wow. Oh, he hit the seven. He made it. Oh, I tried. Wow. One more. One more. One more. One more. One more. One more play. 
Go ahead and do the next hand, please. Uh, 31 on the clock. Six. 31 on the clock. There you go. CP and James S for 1-2. Oh, okay. I thought that was a bubble. One more. One more. One more. Oh, baby Mike, KJ, and Joe. Mike's baby. Let me see. This Mike, no. Ooh. Ooh. Yes. Yes. I made it. I made it. Yes, that's it, right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. There it is. All right, congratulations, everyone. Yes. Yes. There we go. 500K. Right 500K, now. baby. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's give us a second here. We're going to process everybody and give you guys, let you register in the tournament that you want to. You'll have your choice between Thursday, Friday, Saturday, 11 a.m. or 6 p.m. on any of those days. Right. Okay. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, 11 or 6 p.m. 8, 9, 10, 8, 9, 10. Um, so it's three days. Three-day tournament. Yeah. Well, yeah. Two flights, I think it's going to end up being four days. Oh. Oh, the bubble on that one is going to be serious. You play, you, you play one day and then you come back. So would you play like eight hours or something for that day or five, six hours? Or? I have no idea. Oh, my God. You come back Sunday. I'm not sure. It's got a good time. Wow. Melissa Amazing. Made it. Made it. Wow, that's huge. That was cool. Just to get back into the thing. Yeah, I thought I was done for. So I thought it was over for me. <laughs> I made it back into it, yeah. Wow, yeah. Okay. So there's more. Right. April 8th. Hey, nice job, man. $500,000. $500,000. So $500,000. Yeah. 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 Uh, April 8th, uh, $800 buy-in, or if you catch the satellite, which is, I think, next week, we have having one more, so if I catch it, we might be able to get in, but right now, I'm in there, got my foot in the door. So on Thursday, so I got a lot of poker coming, a lot. Okay. So, so you can play yeah. like Thursday at like noon, <laughs> yeah. Thursday at 6. Beautiful. So if you play Thursday at noon, yeah. your goal is to be the oh, same as yeah. the same yeah. as you play on yeah. Sunday, which is the day two of the time. Yeah. 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 Sunday will be the same as they are transferable, so if you do get a ticket that you want to sell or something of that nature, you can do that. Only stipulation is both of you have to be here in person, both of you have to be a member of the club actively. So um, if you've got a friend that wants to play, they need to be here to do it. We can't do anything over the phone. They have to be an actual member to do the transfer. Um, if you win multiple of these tournaments, you get multiple flights. You can sell them to other players, or you can use them as bullets to, to fire again and again as many times as you want. Well, so, how much are they worth? Uh, Eight hundred dollars is the entry fee for the tournament that you qualified for. Yeah. So, whatever you can, whatever you can reasonably sell them for. Right. Um, that makes any sense. So, um, yeah, just pay table and just get there. Play this one. Uh, yeah, that was the last part I was going to hit. So, so ultimately, the other thing to keep in mind, right, if you choose Thursday or Friday's flight or whatever flight you choose, right, make sure that if you can't make that flight that you get it transferred and switched over as quickly as possible because as soon as your chip's going to play, it is no longer refundable, uh, okay? Um, we can't take them out of play. We can't do anything. You can either come and finish off that stack 
or get blinded off and lose the dime. So, I can collect all this shit from the level one. What's that? <laughs> you want all the chips? Yeah. Uh, so I'm you still holding on to it. But if your chips are put into play, so, so once once they're at a table, that's it. There's no refunding it. There's no transferring it. That they're in play. So just keep that in mind. So if it's like, hey, you know what? I got the 11 a.m. on Thursday. Wednesday morning, you wake up and you know the wife says you're not playing anymore. Playing on Friday. Okay, honey, I'll be right back. <laughs> Get here. Yeah, so, so just be careful. This is, so what is it, early in the morning or afternoon? Uh, so you're going to have a choice of six, six flights. So there's Thursday morning at 11 a.m., yep. Thursday night at 6 p.m., yep. same thing on Friday, and same thing on Saturday. So 11 a.m., 6 p.m., each of those three so days. So you, you can only play one flight, right? You can play as many flights as you want, and you can re-enter those flights as well if you like. Wow. You don't choose the flight. Yeah. This ticket you're going to choose your flight now, but you can change it if you need to. Okay. 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 And what are the, is, what are the, what okay, weekend is, are we talking about, or are we talking about the, uh, the, the April 8th or the 11th? 8th, 9th, and 10th are the three days that you'll be playing. If you make it to day two, it'll be on April uh, 11th. Wow. So it's Thursday, Friday, Saturday, April 8th, April 9th, and April 10th. If you make it to day two, it'll be April 11th. Uh, Sound good? Yes, sir. Cool. Thank you. All right. So you basically have to you have to win in that flight to make it to the next day. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Well, you got to be in the top ten percent. Oh, right. Top ten percent. Yeah. Top ten percent. Wow. But if you make it the second day, I think you're guaranteed a flight. Yeah. That's the reason why it's ten percent. You got to make it to the next flight. So if you make it, you make it to the next day, you're guaranteed at least. Yeah. So I think it's smart to come on that first that first wave and get in there because the second day. They, they got the chips that go over to the next day? No, each each day is completely separate. Okay, so yeah. each day is a different flight. Yeah. You get a different you get the same starting stack as it. So it's no it's not carrying over yeah. like other tournaments where you got the bag and the no, carrying no, so your, 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 okay. second, your, your okay. second day carries over to the first day though. Correct. Like the, your your second day carries over to the third day. Final call. So if you get in, if you come in on a flight two, you might uh you're still starting off the same. You're still starting off the same. Okay, so that's, that's good. But what you end that day with, if yeah. you're still alive, that's the East Coast final day with. All right, so it's just that one, flight one and flight two, those are the days that, that's going to count the most. Once once you get out of flight two, you're going into flight one. I think there's only one flight, right? There's only one flight. No, there's multiple flights. I, I mean, there's only uh, one first day, though. Yes. Yeah. One first day and then second day. Yeah. So there's day one A, day one B, day one C, D, E, and F. Typically, how many players do you think is in? <laughs> it's going to be a lot this one. This one's going to be several thousand. Seven thousand? Several. Oh. Several, several thousand. Because it's not only for here, it's every Texas card house in the state of Texas. Wow. So, for instance, in Austin, they have another satellite going on today yep. for the same event. They're going to have flights at their place yep. getting down to 10%. They're all free here? And then this is where it's all going to be the final. Oh, this is going to be lovely. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we might have two day twos. Have you ever played in the World Series event? Or no, two day, day, two, day two, two day twos. They'll have two day twos, yeah. sometimes even two day threes, but typically two day twos. And then day three will all be together. So that day one, there should at least be at least 2,000 players. Day, well, if you combine all the entries between all the clubs, I think it's going to be 2,000 players. No, I'm just talking about for here alone on that day one. Oh, on day one? No, yeah. day one we'll have 200 and something entries. Day 1A, probably 200 and something for day two. So by the end of it, we'll probably have about 1,200 entries just for here. Probably just for here. It's 1.6 mil. Huh? 1.6 mil minus the cut. Uh, Alright, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna choose I'm gonna choose the eighth. Yeah, I'm gonna choose the eighth. Uh, just understand guys, we had 1100 11 entries for a hundred K guarantee, it was a five hundred K guarantee. And we have four clubs in this one, so just keep in mind that it's gonna scale probably I'll right, get back to you. What's going on, y'all? So it's my little nighttime video right here, but uh see? Once again, you know what I mean? Like for all those players that, you know, just for those, 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 there's only a few players that be saying stuff on my post or whatever, talking about I'm a fish, I'm this, I'm that. There it is. Today was just big. It was the biggest for me because I haven't played in no real big, big tournaments, but this will be my first, 
you know, huge tournament. It's 500,000 on the line. You know what I mean? It's a multi-day tournament. So you got flight, you know, flight one, flight two, flight three. And I won the satellite to get in. And I didn't, I paid uh, two. I, I paid, I, I bought in for 225 and then I lost and bought in again. But before I bought in again, I had already hit big on the cash game and won all my money back and then some. So this was a free roll, which is a blessing. That means I ain't spent a dollar to get the satellite ticket. So now I'm in there and all I have to do is just make it to day two. I make it to day two, I'm guaranteed a payout. So I paid nothing to get in. And if I make it to day two, I'm probably guaranteed at least I don't know, maybe 7,000 or something like that. I don't know, 5,000, 7,000. Because this is going to be, this tournament is for all, all the car houses. So there's going to be thousands of players in there. It's going to be insane. But at the end of the day, my best game is survival. I'm very patient. Very. Uh, if you watch my videos and you see how I play online, I'm just very, very, very patient. You know what I mean? I will wait until I got the opportunity to catch you slipping. Sometimes I know I got you, and so I reel you in. That's what happened today. Today I was at the cash game. I I wasn't even I wasn't even at the table for five minutes. I got dealt pocket tens, and I raised it. Um, I raised fifteen dollars, and I got four callers, right? And then on the flop, I hit the 10, 10, boom. So now I got a set, right? So everybody checks it to me. I raise it to 22 or 20, something like that, $22. And the, the other guy folds and the other guy folds. And now it's left with just the one guy. He re-raises, he re-raises it to like $75 or oh, $76 he re-raised it to. So I take my shades off and I looks at him like, yeah, Yo, you trying to bluff me? Like, you know what I mean? Because I'm new to the table. You know what I mean? Like I put on the theatrics. And so he's, you know, he acting confident like he got it. So I call, I said, I call. And then the next, the next, the, on the term, another 10. So now I got quad tens. And in my head, I'm like, look, I just need to get it all in, but I need him to, to try to make a move on me. And I, I was, you know, that was a good position because I had position. So I guess to go last, I get to see, I get to see you make your moves and make mistakes. And sure enough, um, because I took so long to make that other call, right? He shifted on me. He looked to see how much I had left. I didn't really have much left because he pretty much, you know, got most of my stack in there. And he 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 shipped it all in. He well, he didn't ship it all in. He called what I had just about a little bit more. And I was like, I call. And everybody like, damn, that was quick. And I was like, I was like, yeah, you ain't gonna like this. You ain't gonna like this news. And everybody's looking at me because they want to see if I was a fish, you know, if I'm a fish and I don't know what I'm doing, or I'm a player who's who's a force to be reckoned with. And sure enough, I was like, you ain't gonna like this. And I flipped over quads. I was like, like oh, quad tens. He was like, go ahead, go ahead. I was like, yeah, man. I was like, when when you made that, when you made that $75 raise and jumped over me like that, when it turned, I, I, you know what I mean? I knew right there, I was like, yeah, this is payday. So I won all my, my buying money and then some. And so I was just cruising. I was gonna play, but boss, man, you know, he's a really good dude, man. He's, he's like, you know what I mean? He's security. He like, nah, man. He's like, you should go home. Like you, you've been blessed. You made the you made the five hundred thousand dollar tournament without having to spend any. Well, you spent money, but you got it all back, so you got a free roll. Plus, you got you got money from hitting that big hand. Take it home, man. Take it home. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take it home. You know what I mean? But that's just you know you see the videos. You know what I mean? It's just a it's a blessed thing, and you know I'll continue to play my game and continue to do what I do because I know I'm a very very good player. You know, but sometimes, you know, good players just need a little bit of luck. Bad players need all the damn luck, but good players just need a little bit of luck. And so I wait, I wait for that opportunity. And I know how to play. I know when I get close to like, you know, the bubble, I know there's gonna be players who are gonna take advantage of other players who are afraid to actually play because they don't wanna get eliminated right before they make the payout. And then you got those players who, you know, they're not trying to hear it. They're not, they're not gonna be playing nothing unless they got 
you know, top three or four. Jacks, queens, kings, and aces. So I know exactly, you know, my position and what I need to do, you know what I mean, to, to win. And I kind of like just pick my spots real carefully in my position. I always want to be positioned. I never, I don't care, you could deal me ace 10 suited, ace jack suited, all that. If you deal me, you know, in the in the UTG stages, like in the, in the, in the first position, I am weary. I will fold that in a heartbeat. I don't even care. You know what I mean? Because... I know players get into trouble by trying to, you know what I mean, outplay players or make moves in, in early position. And they normally get smacked by the next highest thing. You know what I mean? You got pocket nine, so you're going to ship it and go all in. And then sure enough, somebody's uh, turning over aces or fucking queens, I mean, or kings or ace king or ace queen against you. And I've seen that happen today, and the dude picked up his, his, uh, his ace, and there it was. He had nines, as you can see it in my video. He had nines, and he went against Ace King, and he caught the he caught the Ace and took him out. So at the end of the day, like you gotta know, you just gotta know the type of situations that happen on the table a lot, and then you gotta work your way around that. You know what I mean? If you know that the table is known for cracking, you know people's queens, they queens get cracked, or people uh, win big with Ace Jack or whatever, or people. Um, you know, they, they do well with, with pocket eights in situations and you see aces winning a lot. That's how you, you, you base your game off of that. You're like, all right, well, I got to be careful for those type of hands. And my best advice, always play the upper. I see players try to get sneaky. I was one of those players. Tuesday, I tried to, you know, I tried to uh, call a nice size bet with four, three clubs. Just try to see if I can catch the flush. And you know what I mean? and basically take a play out for having ace king or having a pocket pair or whatever but sure enough i got another player who who decided to jump in that that call with me and he had queen six clubs and we both hit the flush and i thought that i might have had the upper hand because i seen them playing the other, him and the other player playing pretty strong with the kings on the board because two kings hit the board and then the last card was the uh the the, the 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 um the club to give me the flush and so i shipped it i was like all in all in right there. And I was up. This was a 3K, you know, turbo uh, tournament. I was over 60,000. I was cruising. The, the average stack was only 18,000. Wow, 60,000 plus. I think I might have, like, if I counted it all up, I probably had, like, 74, 76,000. And I shipped it and lost just like that. So I'm, I'm saying, and I see other players, they do the same thing. They go in with 4-3 suited, uh, 5 do suited, uh, um, Eight, eight, three, eight, four suited. You know what I mean? And they hit the flush, but they ran into a player who had a higher flush. And that's what I'm saying. If it, when it comes down to it, stick with the higher. Like, say for instance, if you get dealt queen, uh, ten diamonds, don't fuck with it. Don't fuck with it, cause I guarantee you, somebody has fucking ace king or ace queen. They have a higher flush draw than you. And you will hit your flush. You're going to hit that flush and they're going to be right there on top of you and take you out. I see it all the time. So that's my best advice when you get into these tournaments. But we're going to, I'm going to record and show you what it's like, you know, when I'm getting close to everything, you know what I mean? And I'm just going to play my game. Like I manifest this. So, you know, I, I, I visualize it. I dream that I would, you know, come in here and I will win, you know, a, a satellite ticket to play in the 500,000 tournament. And that's what happened. And I, and I visualized myself, you know, coming into fourth place, coming into fourth place or even third place in, in, in the tournament. So, and I'm very good at survival. I let players, even when I played for the AHL, and we had the um, we had the the, the big um W um WSOP uh, uh qualifying uh tournament. So not qualifying tournament, but a tournament for a seat. So you got two options. You can either take, um, you can either sell your your seat for five thousand, or you can go to Vegas and play at the WSOP, and you have a, a your tick your plane tickets and your um your enter fee, your ten thousand uh, dollar buy-in fee is paid for. And I was playing in this tournament, and it was over. I think it was like probably like three, four hundred players, maybe five hundred players. It was a lot of players, and I made it to the final two tables yeah because i had just but when i got to the final two tables it was a wrap i was short stacked like crazy and 
there was nothing I could really do. You know, when players got huge stacks and they know that you're short stack, they know you only got one move. You ain't bluffing nobody when you you real short stack. It's just one move. And so I was dealt um, queen eight. I wasn't catching nothing. Queen eight offsuit. I shipped it all in. A dude called me. He had ace three. His ace held up. So that's just how it goes. So at the end of the day, this is for those players or those people who like to badmouth me and talk bad about me as if I'm not an excellent or good player. Today was was the poker gods letting me know that you are a good player. You know what I mean? And, and you're willing to do whatever it takes to make it to the top. You're willing to be patient. You're willing to watch. You're willing to study. You're willing to analyze. You're willing to do what you have to do to make it. That's it. And, and, and that's just where it's at, you know? So at the end of the day, stay safe out there. Um, uh, tune in because I will be. I, it's, it's, going, it's going down April 9th. It's going down because I flipped the coin. I said uh, if it's if it's heads, it's the eight. If it's tails, it's nine. And it landed on tails, so that's what that's what the poker guys, that's the fate that they dealt me. And so I will be going in, you know, at six six p.m. on uh, you know on April 9th, and I will be flight. I will be flight two. So I'm gonna be flight two going in. And we're gonna see where this where this goes, man. I'm, I'm excited and I feel blessed, and that's just what it is. So um, stay safe out there. And my number one thing for you is always believe in yourself, no matter what they say, no matter how people feel, because the more it feels like it's impossible, the more people you know uh, talk down on you, or the more people, more energy that comes at you that says you can't make it, and you stay solid and you say no. I can and I will have faith and I will do whatever I have to do to make it, you know what I mean, to the top or to be successful, you will be successful. And so I'm on that track right now. Regardless of what happened, you know what I mean, I'm on that track. I played well and I did what I had to do and things worked out well. So stay safe out there. Tune in to my videos coming up. I got a lot of videos. I got a lot of stuff coming up. And once again, I want to thank all my subscribers. I want to thank all the people out there that's been supporting me, that's been subscribing to me, that's been commenting on my, my videos. Even if they're negative, I still want to say thank you and give her appreciation, you know, for, you know, uh, just supporting me. And hopefully in the future, I will have a gift for that lucky subscriber to give my appreciation and it won't be no bogus gift either it will be a nice one you know what i mean one that is worth money because that's just me giving back to helping me you know to have a platform and for you know supporting me and what i feel um passionate about and the things that i like to express and show to those who are like-minded or those who want to learn and know what goes on within the world of poker and the world of scam. Those are my two play. I like I like to speak on scams and I like to speak on poker and they kind of go hand in hand. There's a lot of scamming going on in the poker. So um, just stay tuned. I got a lot of stuff going out there and be safe out there.